When people first move to Linux Mint 22, one question shows up almost immediately. How exactly do you install apps here? On Windows, there's basically one habit. Download an installer, double-click it, and hope nothing weird happens. Linux Mint works differently, and that's actually one of its strengths. In this video, we're going to walk through all the real ways to install applications on Linux Mint 22, one by one, calmly, and clearly. By the end, you'll understand not just how to install apps, but why Linux gives you multiple choices, and when each one makes sense. Let's start with the most beginner-friendly option, because this is where most people should begin. When you open Linux Mint and click on the Software Manager, you're looking at Mint's curated app store. This is the safest and easiest way to install applications. Everything you see here is tested, packaged correctly, and designed to work cleanly with your system. You search for an app, click Install, enter your password, and that's it. Updates arrive automatically with your system updates. No hunting for downloads, no broken installers, no surprises. Under the hood, this store is doing something important. It pulls software from trusted repositories and sometimes from flat pack sources, but it hides all the complexity. For daily apps like media players, office tools, utilities, and beginner needs, this is the smartest place to stay. Now let's step slightly deeper without getting scary. The terminal method using apt is the traditional Linux way. Apt stands for Advanced Package Tool, and it's been around for a long time for one reason. It's reliable. When you install software with apt, you're talking directly to Mint's official software repositories. These packages are tested for your exact version of Linux Mint. They integrate perfectly with your system, respect system themes, and update along with everything else. This method is fast, precise, and incredibly stable. It's ideal for users who want control and clarity. Once you get comfortable typing simple commands, apt becomes one of the cleanest ways to manage software on Linux. Now let's talk about something that feels familiar to Windows users. App Image. An app image is a single portable file. You download it, make it executable, and run it. No installation wizard, no system-wide changes. This is great for trying new software without committing to it. The app carries almost everything it needs inside that one file. If you delete it, the app is gone. The trade-off is updates. App images don't update automatically unless the developer adds that feature. You usually need to download newer versions yourself. Think of App Image as plug-and-play Linux software. Simple, self-contained, and perfect for testing tools or running apps that aren't available in Mint's repositories. Now we move into modern Linux territory. Flatpak. Flatpak packages are sandboxed applications. That means the app runs in its own controlled environment, separated from the core system. This brings two big advantages. First, you get newer versions of apps than what traditional repositories might offer. Second, there's an extra layer of security because the app has limited access to your system. Linux Mint supports Flatpak out of the box, and the software manager already uses it quietly in the background for many apps. You don't have to do anything special to benefit from it. Flatpak is ideal for desktop applications like graphics tools, media editors, and modern apps that change quickly. It trades a bit of disk space for consistency and safety, which for most users is a fair deal. Finally, let's talk about Snap. Snap is another universal packaging system, originally developed by Canonical. It works similarly to Flatpak in concept, but behaves differently under the hood. Linux Mint does not enable Snap by default, and that's a deliberate design choice. Mint prioritizes system integration, performance, and transparency. Snap apps can feel slower to start and less integrated with the desktop. That said, Snap is still an option if you specifically need an application that only exists as a Snap package. It's not wrong, it's just not Mint's preferred path. Think of Snap as a backup route, useful when needed, but not the main road. So what's the right way to install apps on Linux Mint 22? For most users, the software manager covers almost everything. 
When you want speed, precision, and control, Apt is unbeatable. For portable experiments, AppImage shines. For modern sandbox desktop apps, Flatpak is a strong choice. And Snap stays there as an optional tool, not a default habit.